What's up guys, my name's Lionel. And my name's Andrew. And today's a very special day. It's the 50th anniversary since England beat West Germany in the final. Yes, and we've got a special guest in store. I'm talking about Sir Jeff Hurst. Follow us. We live in Viva Hova Blueprint mean we taking over. We taking, we, 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 we taking over. Rolling up and switches, Cali blowing with my hitters. As I'm sure most of you are aware, this is the 50th anniversary of the 1966 World Cup final. So to celebrate, only one person you can get down here, and that's Sir Jeff Hurst. You actually made your England debut in 1966 against West Germany. Can you remember how you found out that you were going to be in the England squad? It's a day I'll never forget. We were trained in a roller skating rink indoors. I'm bring you pull me to one side, they want to select you for the England v Germany game in February. Martin Peters, he didn't get picked, he scored the goal in the final. He didn't get picked till May at, against Yugoslavia, weren't we? Two months before the final and scored almost what nearly was for being goal. England hosting a World Cup, did it immediately grip the nation or was it kind of a distraction and then it really the country got behind the team? I would say it was a slow burner. And the coverage was nowhere near as today. The coverage was, was immense today. One of the broadsheet newspapers, after the morning after the final, said, England win World Cup, see back page. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, we qualify, we qualify, we qualify out to Moldova, we get a 15 page pull out. <laughs> Can you talk us through that last goal, the last kick of the game? The Germans knocked the ball into our penalty area. Seconds to go. I'm tired. I'd seen the whistle in the referee's mouth with waving both arms, so I knew the game was ultimately going to be finished very shortly. So my thoughts were, I'm now going to whack this ball with everything else I've got left. If it goes beyond the bar, beyond the sand, <laughs> into the crowd, by the time the ball boy gets it back to the German keeper, Chilkowski, by the time he kicks it down the park, surely the goodness of the game has got to be over. But as you all know, I miss it and it's <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Jeff What's up, guys? It's your boy Lionel. And it's your boy Andrew. It's your boy Jeff here. Way! History has landed in LDN 19, so Jeff. Glad to present you. Thank you. I, I think I think clap for Sergio. Sir, Jeff, we've got some photos here that are going to go a bit through history. Okay. Uh, some about football, some not. So here we go. So we got a uh, young Sergio first yes. with amazing hair. I think you could have. You mean hair? It's a, You're not no, it's hair. amazing it's hair. hair. Look, the Just way hair. that it quiffs off, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> that's uh, that's in between 1964 and 72, outside the backyard of my house in Chigwell and Essex, cleaning my boots. Obviously, it's quite rare nowadays for pros to clean their own boots. Do you think some old school values need to be put back into the game? I recall at West Ham in the early days, you, you were called ground staff, so you worked on the ground in the afternoon. So you train in the morning, and you go back in the afternoon, you probably roll the pitch, or you paint the stand in the summer. I used to go more green paint in my hair, close season than uh, anything else. You don't clean your boots, I've seen your boots. We happened to stumble across this picture and a little birdie told us that you were going to push your main focus towards cricket. Is that true? It is. I played cricket and football at, at school and was pretty good at both. And it wasn't until in 62-3 in season, Ron Greenwood, he said, are we going to try you up front? So he, he transferred me from a really struggling midfield player, not being fit, to, um, to playing up front against Liverpool on a Monday night. We won one nothing. And I finished up, and my, I remember coming off my shorts were like they'd been dipped in water. I, I was so out of fat backside, not fit, still just coming back from cricket. That's Andrew and Preece. Oh, oh, all right, wow. okay. Wow. And so, wow. that from then it just my, once I concentrated on football, my just career just took off like a rocket. In this photo here, iconic. Thing. What's interesting about the shot is how high I am off the deck. Mm. The one thing I was uh, was good at was striking the ball well with both feet. I often see football today at the top level and sometimes play fail to strike the ball with any great power. And I think being two-footed was also a big benefit to me. So you hear that, kids? Make sure you practice that left foot. Or if you're left-footed, practice that right foot. Definitely an emotional moment for you and the England squad. You got Sir Bobby Moore holding the cup there. Now, can you explain that moment 
to us, like how it felt in that moment. Immediately, it's one of relief that you've got through the tournament and you've won it. Very iconic, though. Yeah, it is. It's become an iconic photograph. Great for West Ham, of course, with three West Ham players in it. And great for England because the, the great captain, the great player, is on our shoulders. You know the boots have changed a lot, so you've got an Adidas pair there, pure control. Um, what do you think of those? They're very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so I mean, I think that's a very how, pretty. How good a player would I be had I been able to wear these boots? These are the Puma Evo touches. Like, it's all about your first touch. You had a great touch. What do you reckon of them? If I had to choose between those two, I would go for this one 10 out of 10 yeah. in, terms of, in terms of the initial look. This is the Nike Magista Obra 2. This is, this is the top end, is it? It's the top end. top end. If I'd have worn that left foot shoe or boot in the final, that would have gone in the net, through the net, and through the back end of the back end of the Wembley Stadium. Exactly. Finished up in the high street with the power. Jeff, just one last request. I promise this is the last one. Can you just look down that camera lens and just say, make sure you subscribe to ProDirect TV. Make sure you subscribed to ProDirect TV. He told you to. Peace. Thank you so much. Love. A day man, Sir Jeff Hurst, such a legend. I've got so much banter. But that's a wrap here from LDO19, guys. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. PDTV, peace! Hey, but I'm looking to sell them boots though on eBay, you know, I'm just saying. So. Hard like the kicks on my feet, hate it, soap, they squeak. Rolling deep with the boys, took the no police. We beat a pirate, say that you can die, vex. Extort who, man, please, check your time, man.